Hello guys, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, I'm going to tell you about my first Chalan or my first traffic offense that recently happened with me in Germany. So I would really recommend watch this video till the end so that you can save your money and learn something from my mistake. So without wasting any time, let's straight jump to the video. In Germany, the traffic signs are very confusing because there are so many traffic signs. Some time additional traffic signs will like will be added. So let's suppose if there is a parking sign, then there will be a sort of timing for that particular parking. Then is it free for resident or not? Is it with ticket or not? Then, uh, then there are so many other uh, constraints, you know, like with the parking. So what happened with me? I just recently visited one of my friend who actually lives in the city and in the city this particular sign was there while I was parking so I thought if you are visiting to your friend or a resident who is living inside the city then probably you don't need to you know get the parking ticket but then I visited him right and once I came back after two or three hours right and I saw that in my front uh, windscreen there was a warning ticket was there uh, when I saw that ticket uh, it was somewhere around 25 euros uh, warning fine and then when we had challenged to the government officials right that I have visited my friend and he is resident there so why I should basically pay for the parking ticket then the response what I got is like first thing I would like to say is how they check how they actually check from your uh, from your registration number plate of the car right so if your car is registered from somewhere else on the city not particular uh, the area where exactly you are visiting right then they won't consider your car as a resident car that means you are just a visitor you know and you have to pay for the parking ticket that's the rule here which i was not aware and i got a fine for 25 euros yeah so i would like to suggest if you are visiting your family friend who are resident uh, who are i would like to advise even if you are visiting your family friend who are living in a city for example and if you see such kind of uh, board then you have to pay for the parking ticket and then visit your friend okay. I visited actually like quite a few times, but this is the first time I got the warning ticket. At the same time, the rule related to parking is also cleared in my mind since I had a discussion with uh, with city officials. Now I think you guys got some clarity and let me explain you a little bit more towards, uh, you know, what are the additional parking signs so that you can avoid mistakes uh, in the future. In this parking sign, you have to think about only arrows, which direction it's actually pointing to. If it's pointing towards road, that means your parking is going to start from here. And then if it's uh, if that arrow is pointing towards uh, away from the road, that means your parking is ending here. So be careful with this parking sign. So next parking sign is parking mid park shine. So that means you have to park it with the parking ticket. Now in this parking board, your car is free to park here. You don't need to pay anything. But if you are parking something else, then you can maximum park for two hours. So in this case also, it's free for everyone only for two hours and the resident can park it with their resident parking permit. Now in this case also, you can park your car for two hours without any problem. But for electrically powered vehicle, it's free. For this one, you can park your car with parking ticket only, but for electrically powered vehicle, it's free of cost. Now, this parking is specially for the car pulling people. Now, this parking is for specially able people. Of course, you can understand this one is, as you know, electrically powered vehicle. This one is also the same one because you can charge your car here and it's free of cost. Now here you can park your car only on weekdays except Saturdays. Now here you can park your car between Monday to Friday 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, like I said earlier, you can park here with parking disc 2 hours standard time. Okay, here you can park your car for 2 hours from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now this is very interesting one, you know, if you are not a resident here, you cannot park here in this zone. Even if you are visiting your friend, no matter it is, you cannot park. And if you are a resident here, you can only park if you have the parking permit. It's clearly written here at the top. And the resident who are living here, they generally pay for their parking permits, uh, maybe monthly or half yearly or yearly. 
but they do pay for that there are few places where the parking board will be like this the resident can park with their parking permits now this one is for the normal passenger cars you can park your car this one is if your vehicle is more than 3.5 tons you can park this particular one is specifically for the mobile homes or caravans here you can park your car between 8 to 11 and 4 to 6 pm yeah this is the typical sign of the parking garage that means your parking will be indoor now this site is very complicated here you cannot park your car from 2nd of january to 13th of january between 7 a.m to 4 p.m yeah that's it for today's video i hope you understand everything if you if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe our channel and, and, and click the bell icon and click the bell icon we'll see you in the next informative video we'll see you in the next informative video bye-bye bye-bye